This video purported to be Kobe Bryant's helicopter in flight 31 minutes before it crashed into a hillside in Calabasas, killing the basketball legend, his 13-year-old daughter, and seven others. The NTSB began lifting the wreckage of the helicopter spread over a 600-foot debris field. Recovery teams had to maneuver through difficult terrain to get to the crash site. The FBI, as is routine, has joined in the investigation. Investigators have determined that the helicopter flying in heavy fog was intact before slamming into the hillside. The descent rate for the helicopter was over 2,000 feet a minute. So we know that this was a high energy impact crash. Initial findings determined that the helicopter impacted 20 to 30 feet below a potential clearing. How much did the helicopter miss the hill? It's important to realize that there's not one hill. It's a ravine with undulating terrain. So the small outcropping that had the main impact in it, the main impact was about 20 to 30 feet from the top of that small hill. I don't know that we can say it probably would have hit another hill either. I mean, that's just, that's an assumption. A drone was brought in to track the flight path of the doomed helicopter. Air traffic control recordings moments before the crash reveal instructions to other aircraft in the area to give way to Brian's helicopter that had been in a holding pattern. You can expect a few minutes. I got a uh, special VFR helicopter I need to get transitioning. He's been holding for about 15 minutes. I ask that all members and guests in the gallery rise for a moment of silence. The Senate paused its impeachment proceedings to pay tribute to Bryant and the others who perished. California has ordered all flags to be flown on half-staff, and fans still having difficulty dealing with the reality that Kobe Bryant is gone. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe. They continue to mourn his death and gather tearfully outside Staples Arena, where he captured the hearts of a legion of fans during his 20-year career with the Lakers. Now, the National Transportation Safety Board says it'll be coming out with a preliminary report on the crash in about 10 days, but it will be 12 to 18 months before they release their final conclusion as just to what caused this tragedy. Meantime, in continued mourning and in tribute to Kobe Bryant, the L.A. Lakers, they postponed tonight's scheduled game with the Clippers.